Key Aero. Your aviation destination. Military Aviation. So we are doing an incredible amount of upgrades. Um, we're obviously looking at buying new aircraft. I mean, the F-5 is an old airframe. Everyone knows that. That being said, it's, it's r relatively inexpensive to operate, which makes it attractive. So we're actually, uh, one of my biggest jobs as the CEO during my tour is to um, upgrade the first two of our aircraft to a, uh, a the, I don't know, it's called an advanced Tiger. It's going to be glass cockpit, you know, uh, Garmin uh, navigation. I mean, a real upgrade to, to the steam gauges that we have right now. All of our jets are going through uh, a seat mod here. Uh, F5s are, in the, you know, extremely cheap compared to, you know, a high block uh, F-16 or something like that. Most of the guys, I mean, we're kind of split. We have about half the guys that are either active duty or full-time support, but then we can augment with the selected reservist, which are airline guys, you know, most of the time. And the beauty for that is it, it's such an efficient model for the way the Navy does things, you know, where an air wing will come in here, we got to train hard for a month or so, and then they go away. Well, the beauty is with our selected reservists, we can pay those guys to come and work while while we need them. But then, when they when there's nothing here to do or 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 it throttles back, then we can kind of send them on the on their way. They go back to work for Delta, United, FedEx, Southwest, whatever, and we don't have to pay their salary. It costs millions of dollars to train a fighter guy, and so this way we can hang on to some of that talent while not having to pay for them full time. Visit www.key.aero for more aviation news, podcasts, videos and chat.